Hi guys, it's Peter and welcome to our channel. Uh, today I'm gonna continue to restore it my Dell 320N. That's a laptop, the one I got kinda in pieces. Anyway, um, basically so far what I done, I did cycle this battery. It actually, it turns uh, to 90% uh, still kinda good. Then I cycle it also original battery. Well, original battery, uh, the, the the main battery, I should call, it didn't turn very well. It's a uh, it's two bank battery, and one bank it's a sixty percent, another one fifty nine point five. They kind of equally same same as that, uh, but it probably will be okay for 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 an hour or so. We're not gonna power it from uh, battery. Uh, we're not gonna run it from battery anyway, because like I said, the battery probably. It's gonna last only for half hour or maybe five minutes, ten minutes, whatever. Also, uh, I did patch it the case. If you saw my previous video, I, uh, I, I believe I show you uh, there was a crack. I did reinforce it with uh, Kevlar material. Um, it's pretty thin, super strong, and supposed to be, I mean, pretty, pretty good. You see, I mean, I'm, now I'm applying pressure, uh, and it doesn't move. Well, uh, let's see. Basically, let's start plugging. Uh, that's the mouse. Mouse going this port. Keyboard. I'm gonna use the external keyboard for now. The thing is, I'm not gonna. Why I'm not putting together? Because I want to try it first. I'm gonna try it on the original hard drive. If it doesn't work, if it doesn't recognize it, which I'm pretty sure it will not, because the previous owner did mention it, the uh, hard drive is shut. Plus he opened it already. I'm pretty sure after opening hard drive, most likely it's it's done deal. Uh, I got couple uh, options to go with uh, compact flash, but the compact flash flash from my own experience, I don't like that idea because not many compact flash com comparable with IDE capable of do IDE uh, support or so. I know this card can do because it's card from my Amiga, but it's a eight gigabyte. I'm sorry, four gigabyte uh, compact flash. Most likely, this old computer will not support four gig. Well, I'm pretty sure it maximum it see like two gigabyte or so. Then I got a few more compact flash, but like I said, compact flash. Uh, I, I mean, I'm most likely gonna try it, but I don't like that idea. Uh, SD card is much better, and. Uh, how many cards I got using on my different projects on my Amiga, they all work. I never found it even a single uh, SD card, even like 8 megabyte I tried on my uh, Amiga, it, it does work. Pretty much I got 128, 1 gigabyte and 2 gigabyte. That should be plenty enough. Well, uh, let's start plugging, like I said. Uh, the backup battery or clock battery. Let's plug it where it's supposed to be. And I suppose it go that way. The main battery for now, we're not gonna install it. Uh, then we're gonna connect it uh, power. Let's see, power goes this way. Also, I got uh, Microsoft DOS. And uh, let's see, uh, yeah, uh, Microsoft DOS 6. Uh, it's probably like 6.0, yeah, 6.0. Uh, full set, it's a three disc, and also I do have, I found it finally, my own copy of uh, Windows 3.1. Uh, the thing is, that's an old laptop, uh, quite old, I should say, or pretty old, and it's a uh, 386. Uh, back then, it was running on a 3.0 or 3.1 uh, Windows, 3.1 will be suitable. Uh, let's plug it in original monitor. I mean, I can use it a bigger monitor uh, But I thought let's plug it original one and in that case we can see if it's if it's even work uh, Let's see. Let me put it Some way where where you guys can see it. I hope it it, it can be visible Let me turn it that light off Okay and now let's put Microsoft DOS in a floppy drive. Actually, 
yeah look like we're good to go let's flip it switch and hope everything's gonna work fine i hope so but oh the green light well i'm not really sh 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 sure if you guys can see it but it's it's right there boom it's it, it's it's on but actually we got we got picture on the screen too wow look at guys okay pressure one key to continue if if to, to set up it looked like got some trouble time and day clock last power it's got okay let's uh let's try it f1 see if that's gonna do uh it doesn't look like well the, the floppy drive is clinking okay it's a microsoft uh, i mean the uh, starting ms dos uh you know what i should go to bios and see what the setting is actually let, let's wait uh, uh that stuff okay i can i can barely see it what it said uh oh it dies that's a nice let me power it off let me check the cable and oh, all the cable was good why why it, it dies all of a sudden let me reboot it okay guys i, I want to make sure you will be able to see it also okay well let's go first in the bios and see what's what we got uh of course date screws up uh 3.5 floppy 1.44 megabyte it looked like detected external disk drive not install it uh disk drive inter uh and let's let's go oh the hard drive yeah hard drive zero none that's no good basically didn't detect it the original drive which kind of assume i knew it uh, let's see this category indicate and type of a hard drive instead of computer to select oh actually uh with errors oh you know what guys it looked like it didn't detect it the hard drive automatically i will have to check this hard drive uh original hard drive uh, probably on the google so and found it what's the setting supposed to be because otherwise i doubt it will recognize it okay uh well guys uh, let me do some research i will be back okay guys uh looks like after some research i found it the original hard drive it should be type 39 and that has uh, 548 uh, cylinders eight heads and uh, let's see that can be 81 gig uh, megabyte i was about to say gigabyte uh, i'm not really sure if i got correct but let's try it and see if we got right but most likely it will not like that it will not recognize it okay a second attempt let me take it out uh, a floppy drive i mean floppy disk It didn't. It didn't recognize it either. Most likely, strike the F key to continue. Okay, the hard drive. Uh, that that was a hard light, light, right? Yeah, the hard hard drive LED blinks, and nothing happened. Okay, something something not right. Maybe because the hard drive is completely dead. Because the light for a, a hard drive, it did blinks once, but the hard drive didn't start. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I just tap it and it starts spinning. Slightly I tap it in the hard drive. That... Something feels like... Oh, 
Okay, now it's spinning. <laughs> that, that's kind of like, that's not the right way to do. I should not touch it hard drive when it's power on. But since the hard drive is dead anyway. Okay, let's try to reboot again. One more time. Yeah, usually uh, I mean, when you plug it hard drive, you should not you should not touch it. But you see guys, I touch it, I tap it a little bit and the hard drive starts spinning. Uh, the light did blink once and yeah, no boot device available. Okay, um, that's not good. Uh, basically, the hard drive most likely is dead. And it will not recognize it but the problem is if i plug it compact flash card or sd card it will not do any good because i have to select it and let's see uh, let me go back to that menu with up and down arrow and uh, if you look at basically this computer because it's pretty old it doesn't have automatically detection for hard drive i will have to preset i mean i have to use it presets there's a uh, what 47 hard drive presets to to make um to 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 be able to i have to pick the right settings to able to detect a new hard drive pretty much all cards what i got it's uh it's uh, uh actually you know what i got 128 megabyte because they all bigger than what it here specified for example uh, number 47 it's 115 megabyte and uh, if i scroll it up i see 115 161 uh hold it there's a 200 okay 203 200 megabyte I didn't see anything bigger than that yeah because back then there probably was no hard drive exists in a 2.5 i mean a gigabyte or four gigabyte uh you know what this card i mean 128 megabyte this is a 115 i have to uh check on my other computer uh with uh, i believe it's a 486 with arrow detection to see how many heads and uh, what the specs is gonna be uh cycles and uh, cylinders and head because this this number is very important otherwise you will not recognize it my car uh let me do some research try to identify this card what is and see if there's any luck to match it with any settings and then we continue if not i will have to get um i will have to get uh what i was about to say uh hard drive physical hard drive not not sd card or compact flash okay guys i will be back again okay guys uh the thing is that 128 megabyte sd card it will not run either it looks like it has let me scroll it to that 115 uh this card the one i'm planning to use it it has a uh, 244 uh, cylinders and 16 heads and this guy it has a 761 cylinders and eight heads it will not match and uh, it probably will not recognize it let's actually plug it in uh let's let me change settings and that's gonna be 47 and uh, let me uh, how is it gonna do that let me power it off disconnected hard drive and we will plug it that uh, uh let's see let's see let's see guys we will plug it that sd adapter with 128 megabyte card and if i'm right and the thing is i'm not really no i mean i'm not 100 percent positive for what i'm doing i mean it's kind of like experimenting if i'm doing something wrong uh please leave it comments i will really appreciate i'm kind of new uh to, to this whole technology i'm in the processing of learning 
I'm really enjoying to do that. But if I screwed up or so, if I'm uh, or I'm doing wrong, please correct me. Uh, let's see. And it's gonna be quite interesting to see. Okay, I see the um, accessing light is blinking. Uh, activity light. Well, it's kind of a little bit blinked. That that was a good sign. Okay. Let me go to bias and see if, yeah, the 47, I believe that's the one we selected last time. Like I said, that that's a right by, I mean, almost pretty close to by megabyte, but it's totally different from, I mean, by cylinders and heads. It's not gonna, it's not gonna work, but I'm, I'm too new before, uh, I mean, for that. Uh, you know what? Let's let's even push it. No, let let's wait see if it does recognize it, which I doubt. Yeah, that um, activity light blinking. I'm not sure if you guys can see on the camera. Yeah, it blinks few times and stops. Okay, the hard drive light on the main board it blinks also. It doesn't. Let me put uh, DOS disk. Let's boot it from doors and see if it can detect. I doubt because uh, what what I about to say? Uh, because if it did recognize it uh, SD card, it should detect. Well, on the other hand, there's no partition. Probably that's why it, it, it didn't detect it. Uh, let's run it doors and uh, do F disk. Please wait. Setup is checking your system configuration. A setup cannot install it my MS DOS 6 on your computer. Oh, it's saying that it doesn't have hard drive. Uh, that's, that's not good. Uh, let me try it. Have a boot disk with some softwares. And there's a F, F disk, I believe. All side you have, just for, just for curiosity. Insert disk with batch files. That's not gonna work that way. Let's do reset. I mean, it will be quite interesting if it starts. Like I said, if it doesn't work uh, with your SD card. It's no biggie. I will probably do some research and it's gonna find that hard drive, suitable hard drive for that because it's quite interesting machine. It's uh, quite old. I believe they manufactured it in 94 or, or maybe even 93. 93 I believe was made. And, uh, and uh, not many of them been been produced back then apparently because not not many of them uh, kind of survives to our day of to our days and uh, will be quite neat machine probably if it everything is up and running uh, okay now we are let's see if this i don't remember yeah like the, i believe that's it Oh, no fixed disk present. Okay, basically it didn't recognize it. Even all all my cards I did format it to fast 16, I believe, or so. I mean, this this card, this adapter works on my 40, uh, 486, no problem. It should work on a 386 as well. But this guy is like I said, it doesn't. It's not automatic detection. It doesn't have automatic detection for hard drive. Well, guys, uh, pretty much that's it for today. I hope this video was kind of useful, enjoyable. If you guys did enjoy it, thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any future videos, subscribe. We will be really appreciated.